killing Kennedy doesn't just show JFK as an American hero, but it also shows him very much as a man. Senator Kennedy, how did you get to become a war hero? And I told her that uh, it was completely involuntary. They sunk my boat. <laughs> <laughs> to be able to embody his story on the 50th anniversary of his death was an exciting once in a lifetime opportunity. We wanted to do two things in killing Kennedy. I'm looking for authenticity. We wanted to show you what was going on in the Kennedy administration. And then we wanted to do the second track on this guy Oswald, because people don't know what he did, why he did it. We know the history, but we don't necessarily know the humanity of the story. It delves into the personal lives of JFK and Oswald, especially with Oswald's character, is something that you don't get to see a lot of. It has to be a three-dimensional human being. You have to make it real. And ultimately, you feel an enormous responsibility to get it right. There's something about the building of the tension mixed with these really beautiful, quiet human moments that do make you almost think that something else could happen. Maybe tonight's the night I should go to the theater. <laughs> I don't know what this is all about. Did you kill the president? No, sir. And people keep asking me that. This is a history story, but it's really a thrill. The challenge for me was really to try to get into the minds of Jackie, Lee Harvey, and Marina. For Jack, it's the president. The idea was to really try to build that private world. We got a major situation in Cuba. I think for known figures, the key is inhabitation, not imitation. What I'm struck with most is his spirit. Nelson McCormick, our director, described this film to me as two trains on a collision course. I mean, they're coming from different ends of the earth. And it's good. Good. How do you make Lee a man instead of a monster? We've always seen Lee as like a two-dimensional villain, but he was a human being. He wanted somebody to take notice of him. Marina, the beautiful Russian girl. To have so much about Oswald and Marina is refreshing. No one's really touched it before. As the years go by, B, he's going to evolve into this madman. Marina was this unknown victim. She was just a girl who loved a man, and the man did something terrible. There's this parallel between the two women. At the end of the day, you're still a heartbroken woman. I was so excited when Ginny Goodwin was cast. Truly, she became her. I really loved learning about Jackie as a woman. Tell me in the morning who wins, Mr. President. Working on a Ridley Scott project, it's like the stamp of platinum. It's a fascinating look, a fresh look, about his assassination that rocked the country and the world to its core. The story is riveting and personal and idyllic at the same time. It actually is the stuff of Shakespeare. 